guys, Shane Sorbs with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to quickly and easily install uh, Android 4.2.2 to the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. This is the official over-the-air version, which includes all the new radios. Several people have been reporting uh, that they're getting way better signal than they were before with this new over-the-air update. And uh, now, of course... If you're off the official upgrade path, you would have to flash back to stock. Now, you can do that manually through ADB by flashing the stock image, or you could use a toolkit like MSkip's toolkit uh, or Wugfresh's Nexus toolkit. Those will get the job done, and from there, you can install the over the air update, uh, or you can manually install it through stock recovery. But that's not what we're doing today. We're going to do this. Uh, from whatever build we're on, if you're running AOKP or Signage of Mod 10 or whatever ROM, whatever firmware you're currently running, uh, thanks to P3Droid for putting together this all-in-one updater. Uh, it's going to update your ROM over your current build, and it does include all the radios and everything that's included in the Verizon over the year update. Uh, one caveat here, it's only been tested in Team Win Recovery Project. I can only recommend that you flash it in Team Win Recovery Project. So we'll go ahead and get started. So we'll need to power off the phone and then reboot into recovery. So some of you guys have that option to reboot into recovery from your power menu. If not, that's okay. You can just press and hold both volume buttons and the power button at the same time. This menu comes up and then you'll just scroll over to recovery mode and hit enter. That should boot you into Team Win Recovery Project. Okay, so once we're here, we'll need to go into, I just wanna make sure that we have the proper file and it's here it's this crazy crazy name uh, it's coming from p3 droids uh, google drive account so you know google drive gives it that crazy name so we'll go back and we'll do our wipe so we'll wipe factory reset and go back wipe cache so normally updating to the over the air coming from a custom rom would be an arduous process but Big shout out to P3Droid from Team Black Hat for putting this all together. I'll include a link to his website, AOSP.us, and uh, we'll also have a link to this file in the description under the like button. So we'll go ahead and hit install and grab that file that we just downloaded. Make sure it is that crazy name file. Go ahead and flash that. So give this a few minutes to install. As soon as it finishes, we'll go ahead and reboot the device. Okay, guys, so after literally about five minutes the install was complete and you guys can see that it wrote the boot image bootloader LTE radio and CDMA radio the CDMA radio took the longest the first three I uh, got through very very quickly uh, so what we'll do is go ahead and reboot the system with Google I.O. should come a keyline pie or the next version of Android or at least that's my hopes uh, so I'm guessing Google is pushing everybody to get the Nexus devices all the way up to the latest firmware. Of course with 4.2.2 there weren't too many changes. Uh, in fact they were very very minor changes. Of course we do get our new radios on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus which should help a lot as far as reception and battery life are concerned. Uh, a few things that we get with 4.2.2 we get we get new download notifications so where it used to just tell us the percentage of our download now we're actually going to get the percentage of what's left to download plus an actual estimated time of we'll also get an estimated time as to when that download should finish so uh, that is a really nice feature uh, new in the quick settings toggles we have a long press toggle for wi-fi on and off and also a long press toggle for bluetooth and we get some new sounds uh, so mainly whenever you're doing your wireless charging or if your battery gets too low, we're going to have a few new sounds in stock Android for that. So anyways, guys, that's all for the quick install guide for the Galaxy Nexus on Verizon uh, to get your Android device to the latest 4.2.2 update. Big shout out to P3Droid for putting that all-in-one installer together for us. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Nexus and other devices. Um, also, we'll have the S4 as soon as it drops and all the other new devices that are coming soon. Also, you can check me out at DroidMotorX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll keep you guys up to date with all the happenings on YouTube and any articles that I write. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Today I'm going to show you the ROM that I've been running on my Nexus 7.